It will take a while. And meanwhile, the United States Coast Guard is prepared with resources to support folks in the path of Tropical Storm, I should say, excuse me, Hurricane Ida. Here with me now is U.S. Coast Guard Vice Admiral Stephen Poulin. Thanks so much, sir, for staying by and standing by with us here at BNC during this very critical time. Tell me about the operations so far. What is the, the biggest area of concern that you have with the hurricane spinning over Louisiana and, and having such a, such a sustained, prolonged activity over the area? Well, first, thanks, thanks for having me, and our thoughts are certainly with the people in southern Louisiana and, and Mississippi. Uh, the Coast Guard has been preparing for this storm for a number of days. Uh, we pre-positioned uh, Coast Guard rescue assets, primarily helicopters, planes, and shallow water craft uh, in, uh, in the area. We've got a lot of capability along the Gulf Coast, but we've supplemented that capability by bringing in crews and aircraft from as far away as California, from the Great Lakes, from Cape Cod and North Carolina. So we are positioned to respond. The challenge is that the weather is too severe right now for us to respond. As soon as the weather breaks, we're gonna be there rescuing people and saving lives. Admiral, you're quite busy, and as the Atlantic Area Commander of the U.S. Coast Guard, talk to me, if you will, about the vessels which are positioned and prepared for deep water search and rescue efforts. For example, we heard that people in uh, Grand Isle are trapped. As you know, a, a lot of water gets into that area. Uh, we're hearing that uh, some of the levees are overtopping in Plaquemines Parish. Uh, what will your teams have to do uh, in terms of trying to help people in those kinds of situations, which are deadly and dire? Well, for those who are stranded down on the coast of uh, Louisiana, uh, the best search and rescue asset is going to be a helicopter. And we've got those prepared and ready to launch when the weather allows. We also have boats prepared to respond when helicopters may not be suitable or maybe even a helicopter can't get in. Uh, we have larger flight deck equipped cutters that are en route to New Orleans that will position off the coast to provide command and control so that we can sustain command and control for our search and rescue assets. And then, as I mentioned, we also have those shallow water boats that are ready to integrate with the urban search and rescue teams. Admiral, it's so important what you're doing uh, to, to be able to have all those assets uh, at your beck and call. As we know, however, hurricanes can be deadly. What should folks in the path of this storm, what should they know now if they didn't take heed to what the governor has stated as well as what the mayor of New Orleans has stated about voluntary evacuations as well as mandatory evacuations? Well, we always believe that people should comply with state and local officials when they say evacuate an area. Um, that's the most important thing. But if you haven't evacuated, I think, you know, you hunker down, you stay safe. If you can make a call, uh, we will get to you as soon as possible. We'll get to you if you broadcast on Channel 16, which is a Marine Band radio, or we'll respond to you if you call 911. We are closely linked in with the state and emergency managers. So we have this very collaborative search and rescue network and uh, we'll get to you as soon as we can. Admiral, I'd like you to stay with us. We're gonna take a quick break and uh, I do appreciate your time, sir. It's so valuable and what you're saying is so valuable. Vice Admiral Stephen Pullen, we will return with him in just a moment right after the break. Right now, before we go to break, live pictures out of New Orleans, dangerous winds from Hurricane Ida ripping through Louisiana as we speak. How the storm and crowded shelters could be the perfect recipe for disaster. That's next with BNC Live. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 